All right, welcome back to Living It Away. It's Chinese Heritage Week here on uh, the show, and we thought we'd kick off the week with the story of a woman who's doing so much to help orphan children in China find loving homes here in Hawaii. That's right. Help them get a new start in life. Christine Altwees is the executive director of Hawaii International Child, and she is this month's Living 808 local hero. I work in adoption. That means I help children find families to love and raise them. So in 1991, I had just moved to Hawaii, and I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with my life. I had a degree in art history and education, and I met the founder of Hawaii International Child at a dinner party, and um, we started talking, and the agency was having trouble. It had sort of closed up, and I asked if I could be involved, and I um, revived it at that point by building programs in China and Russia. It just resonated in me, and I knew it was something I could do, and I knew it was something I could do fairly well, and I knew it was something that would keep my interest and my passion for a long time. Growing up in an orphanage is sad and lonely uh, for many kids, and it's not developmentally healthy. Many of the kids um, watch people come and go. They don't have a primary attachment. Um, they may not be academically challenged. They may have uh, medical needs or physical needs that aren't being taken care of. And at the end of the day, every child wants a family to call their own. And a child who doesn't have that knows instinctively that there's something wrong. Children know that they should have a family. They're not dumb. They look around in the world and they see everyone else has a mom and a dad. Why don't I? Oh, it must be because there's something wrong with me. And the last thing we want is for any child to ever feel that there's something wrong with him or her. China strikes a special chord for me um, for a number of reasons. It was the first program I developed back in 1991, and I've seen huge changes in the country. Um, in the socioeconomic health of the country, in the political um, dynamics of the country. I've seen big changes in how they have run their adoption program. They interact with the foreign agencies very well. The information about the children is generally very helpful. Um, and, and by and large, the children in the orphanages are being fairly well taken care of. We see that the money being donated is being used to improve the situations for the kids. Whether they're a year old or 13 years old, um, you can see children wanting this love and knowing that it's what they need. And you see the parents suddenly falling in love in front of your eyes and um, ready to take the risk of parenting someone they've never met, willing to do whatever it takes. Um, it is absolutely inspirational. There's no other word for it. I became a parent late in life. I was 39, and I had my first child then. And I knew I wanted to be a parent more than anything. I had been working in adoption since I was in my early 20s. I met my husband when I was a few months pregnant, and um, he brought two wonderful boys into my life, who are my sons. And shortly thereafter, my husband and I adopted a daughter from China. Uh, she was just about one year old at the time. Um, our son, who we can't imagine our life without, he's now 13, and we adopted him two years ago from China. I know that being a parent for me is the greatest job I've ever had, and one I am grateful to have. And um, I think there are few people who wouldn't want to be a parent. I do what I do because I can't imagine doing anything else. Uh, I've been doing it for almost 30 years. I fell into this work and I really believe that when you have an open heart and an open mind and you act with integrity and you follow your dreams, that things work out. There's never a day when I don't wake up and don't look forward to coming into the office because every day there are new human challenges, problems to sort out, and most importantly, children for whom we need to find families. And how can that not be exciting? Wow. 
She is a great, great woman. Um, I actually know her personally, and mm -hmm. I know she is so passionate about what she does. And then when you hear the story of how they, you know, match these children with, with parents who maybe either have children of their own or, yeah. or you know, just to expand their family or have um, tried desperately to have children of their own and can't, yep. um, it's really such a wonderful service That's that why they do. I, I like the thought that she's creating family. She's helping families come together. It's so nice. It yeah. is. It's wonderful. And Hawaii International Child has a heavily subsidized orphan trip to China planned for early October. And they are looking for prospective adoptive families to join them on that trip. It's a mostly all expenses paid visit to see China. Now, if you want to learn more, go to their website, Adoption hawaii.org adoption hawaii.org you can get more information but if you've always thought about adopting want more information this is a great opportunity yeah and it's yeah. mostly all expenses paid so I know. this is a good, great opportunity you should take advantage yeah yeah, yeah.